Guys, welcome back. Today I bring you the G20 2019 3 Series. Finished in mineral white. It's got various um, packages on it, so I'm going to have to talk you around it. I've forgotten quite what's included with them, so I'll, I'll try my best to remember. So they ain't gone too mad with the grill, which they have in like the recent upcoming vehicles, such as like 7 Series, 4 Series. They've gone a bit too wild with that, but I think they've just got it right with the, the grills. They're a bit big, but they're not too big. And these grills actually are active, so when it gets too hot, um, they do actually open. So they're not just like closed that they look here. They do open, obviously. You never get to, probably I won't ever see it because you're driving it when they open. Love the light design as well. Not too, not too big either. And obviously this is a M Sport Plus, so it's got black gloss trim around. So this this would normally be chrome but because it's M Sport Plus. It's got um, the shadow line sort of exterior kit. Here's a picture. Here's a picture of the paintwork. Let's see if I can get more of a look around in the sun. These are 19 inch wheels that also come with the M Sport Plus. With some M's, this is also part of the M Sport Plus, or maybe, well, it comes with it anyway. It comes with like some big blue brake, brake calipers, the M Sport brakes. Come to the back, you get like a little lip spoiler, which is also part of M Sport Plus. If you look carefully, look, dual exhaust and they're real. And unlike the old one, they're not two singular ones on the side. They've got one either side, which looks sporty, I think. And I really do like the design of the back. Very, very aggressive looking, I think. Does it look a little bit like a Lexus, but not too much. As you can see, it's an X drive variant, so it's not actually that bad to drive because it's still re it's rear drive bias so it's just send most of the power still to the back but x drives there when you need it parking camera here too has a pretty cool function actually um i think it's part of the comfort uh, package um if you kick your foot underneath the boot but underneath the car it doesn't work most of the time i have tried it several times and it's I will we'll get it to work eventually. Bear with. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Try again. Right. And you also get this automated tailgate, which is also part of the uh, comfort access. So let's try it again. Hopefully, it should work. I did get it to work before filming. Now it's just playing up on me. I think it's because I keep putting my foot too, too. I keep putting my foot away too quickly. Come on. There we go. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Speaking of the boot, it's about 480 liters, so it's not it's pretty spacious. It's pretty spacious. You got your little uh, handles here to release the seats, but we all know how to do that. If you see in my maybe in my previous reviews, you've got some like nets here. Uh, anything else interesting? I uh, got a 12 volt socket here, some like hooks down there to tie things down. Yep, pretty big boot. Got there in the end of uh, opening it. Not sure if I mentioned this, but you got your reversing camera there as well. Quick little look at the wheels again. Look how big those brakes are. Massive. So here's your key. Got M Sport colours on it. I think it's already locked, so 
this is a, this is also part of the comfort access so if i just literally pull the handle because i've got the key in my hand and it's close it'll open already getting inside the car we have a completely different world in terms of like the way it looks compared to the old generation it's miles and miles ahead you wouldn't think that this interior was a generation ahead i would say it looks two generations ahead it's a completely different world with more on that in a minute so we've got m sport uh plates here we've got some like uh metal plated uh pedals down there oh, even even mats feel great door handles got some nice metal trim which is more of like a I'm not sure what you call that, more like a rectangular shape compared to the old ones where they're a bit more sensible. Uh, got M Sport uh, seat belts, which are part of the M Sport Plus package, which I'm not really a fan of, mainly due to the fact that this is only a deep 320D, so it's not really fitting for this car. If it was like the M340i or the upcoming M3, I'd understand, but yeah, everyone's got their own taste, I just don't think it's quite fit in this car. But it still looks nice, it's just obviously uh, not not to my taste. Uh, look at these seats as well. These seats, they look so much better than the old ones. Like There's more going on. You've got nice shoulder padding there. It's a really comfortable seat. So, get inside. You're greeted with this really big M... M Sport steering wheel. Uh, you've got some heated steering wheel, which is part of the Comfort, I think, Comfort package. Uh, and yes, a, a complete it's new design compared to the old one. I do prefer the old one, if I'm honest, but this one still looks really nice. It's just, there's a lot going on, but it does look more upmarket compared to the old one. And it's quite thick, I think. It feels a little bit thicker, but I do prefer the old one. But yeah, you got all your cruise control here your like this is where you control like the menus and the the central display get your light settings down here and even this like little pocket look at look how slowly it comes down and it's got nice felt inside it see even that just feels more at market and much better than the old one down here you got all your uh, like so you got your gear selector which is an eight speed auto ZF8 gearbox, as you call it. You got your no more um, manual handbrake. You got a what do you call it? Electric handbrake. And you got your little rotary dial here, which they haven't ditched, which is good because I think it's the easiest way to use this system. Uh, which is also touch sensitive, as you can see. And you got all your shortcut buttons here and your gear selector here. And then you got um, your stability control off your parking, your parking sensors, auto. Stop start, stop start engine, sport, comfort, eco pro, adaptive suspension, which comes with M Sport Plus as well, I think, which is really good for, for sporty driving because it makes it more compliant around the bends, but also very comfortable. It adapts to the, let's say, really bumpy roads. Nice storage in here, USB C in there. Got all your volume and your shortcut radio buttons here. You got all your heated seats and all your aircon vents and stuff there. And if we just turn the ignition on, uh, I'll just turn on the engine to show you. But yeah, you got your digital display here for it's quite hard in here actually. I might turn the there we go. It's getting quite hot. Might actually undo the window. So yeah, you got all your um, temperatures there. But if you just look at this like design, it just looks like millions times better than the old one. Like the interior, it's just so much more upmarket. You got some like LED lighting, which is quite hard to see because it's quite sunny. But you got lighting that goes across the doors, the dash, all around here, and it also continues in the back seats as well. In here two cup holders, USB and wireless charging, which is part of the technology pack, I think. Uh, heads up display. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a heads up display right in front of me and it displays various things, speed limit and the speed you're going. And when you go over the speed limit, it starts flashing. 
which is quite useful if you don't want to get a speeding ticket so that's pretty useful and you also get the sat nav so when i've got a destination which i haven't got now you get like the like a full like um a display of directions when you need to turn like say in 1500 feet you need to turn right and then it'll show you the map ahead also you get the map here which because obviously you haven't got anything selected right now it's not in this still central display and you also get it there as well so you've got no means of ever getting lost which i normally do in my reviews uh you've got paddles as well and a steering wheel and so you can cycle through the menus so in this display i just went past it so you got your power displays here so which goes up and you got your g meter which is very important for people like sending it around corners no entertainment source and then obviously it says comfort put in sport mode and you can see like just there it goes you get the end sport colors and the dials go red around the sides brum brum if you put eco pro it all goes blue because you're trying to save the world i'm not so i'm going to put it back in comfort uh so so much to show you guys uh, it's really difficult uh got harman kardon as well harman kardon is, is part of the uh technology pack as well so and that's a really really good stereo system i kind of highly recommend it so if you want to have a banging tunes let's say if you i won't get a copy strike because i'm too small of a youtuber let's put the radio on let's put on classic fm oh yeah another thing gesture control part of the technology pack so if you listen to your banging tunes you do this hey hey um that's how you control that now if you don't if you have enough of classic fm i think you do this yeah there we go and it's changed to free radio which i've never heard of so if we turn it up using our finger again never heard of that song i'll put it back in classic fm but yeah basically it's a bit of a gimmick but it's pretty useful to if you don't if you don't want to reach you just want to use your hands it's very good uh whatever features are there it's pretty there's so many to go through i can't I can't remember all of them for you guys, sorry, but if I say, hey b and I'm, I'm cold. Oh, I am raising the temperature and activating your seat heating, so it will be warmer shortly. So there you go, it puts, puts on my heated seats and it puts up the temperature for me because I said I'm cold. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's a very lazy thing to do. If you say, I don't know, um, Hey BMW. I'm tired. I found several destinations. Which one shall I select? Uh, I don't think I, I think I took too long saying it. Um let's just do it again. Hey BMW. Hey BMW. Okay, it doesn't want to work with me anymore. But basically, yeah, if you say if you're tired or sleepy, whatever, it will just um, it will start like pushing like loads of air into you, turning on and off, and on and off, and it'll play some like music and yeah, I think it might even open the windows. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's pretty um, pretty cool thing if I'm honest. Um, the only thing I don't like about this display here is it's quite dark, whereas in like let's say an Audi or something else, it's much lighter. Um, this is this is only dark because it's set to dark. You can change it to daytime, but it's put on permanently night mode. So if we go into, let's say if we want to go into reverse, you got park assist and a part reversing system. So it if you it'll remember like I don't know a certain amount of distance that you've been driving, and if you if you don't want to reverse back out, it remember like the inputs of how you got in there so it reverse back which is pretty cool the resolutions are also really good and you get like a the lines and everything else pretty good stuff so put that back in park driving information 
there's just so much stuff in this infotainment system. I could not get through. If you want to like know everything about like the infotainment system and everything, just look at else, look at somewhere else like on the internet, look at some forums because there's literally so many sub menus and things you can do, loads of gimmicks. It's, it's quite incredible really. So I'm gonna run out of time. So I'm gonna carry on with the view as normal, like I normally would. So I'm gonna go in the back all the passengers see. You can see the lights. They even just like opening and clutching at the door. It's, it's a much nicer sound. So right now I've got loads of leg room. So I'm going to put what normal leg room I have. So see, like this. I'm quite comfy. Okay, maybe a bit further back. Okay. I'm very comfy now. I've got loads of room. It brings me on to the glove box. I forgot about that. The glove box is quite small. Not the biggest one in the world. But yeah, lots of room. Really comfortable position. What you like in the back? Right, and now in the back, if we look, I'm fully stretched out, loads of like foot room, loads of leg room, loads of head room, I'm five foot eight and a half and I've got loads of head room to head bang in or whatever I want to do. Got like coat hook here, two USB down here and even your own little climate control at the back which is pretty cool, another 12 volt socket. And yeah, the seats are really comfortable. This comes down, cup holders in there. And if you want to, Get some through loading through here to put, I don't know, skis or whatever you can do. And you can also pull these seats down like I showed you earlier in the video. But yeah, decent decent place to put uh, all your, uh, there's even storage here. Two places down there to put some bottles or whatnot. Storage here. Yeah, really nice place to sit at the back because it's this car's actually wider, taller, and it's a longer wheelbase. So it's essentially bigger in every dynamic in the, um the previous three series so you get a lot more well it's not a lot more room but it's noticeable and it's such a nice place to be in the back so good job bmw right one final look before we get on the move I think this has also got a lower sense of gravity than the old 3 series. It's got, um, I think it's about one 10 millimeters uh, lower than the old one. It's also 50% more rigid than the old one as well. So here we go, onto the driving. Righty. Car coming. I'll probably wait for a bit so I have a bit more time to um, leave. So there's a bit. So if he does drive slower and I do drive quite fast, then I've got plenty of time to catch up with him. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful design. This looks so much better than the old the old 3 Series. The old 3 Series looks so dated. So I'm glad they um, made the decision to make it such a better place to be. So this is a two litre diesel with X drive. And so it's the 320D. It's about 190 horsepower, 300 foot pound of torque. 60 is good in 6.8 seconds. And it's really comfortable and they're really quiet because they've actually given this car acoustic glass. So it's a lot, a lot more quiet, a lot more refined in here. 
and they've also put some like um, material or something in these pillars here to make sure there's a lot less wind noise and just general noise and, and in general the only the only things that um, you should take note is that it's still on run flats so it's not going to be like dead quiet like it should be which is a bit of a shame because I think it, it really shouldn't have run flats it just makes it noisy and ruins the ride a little bit so yeah in comfort literally it's just really quiet really compliant it's just a very relaxing car to be in such a joy to be in economy is great too so this can do if driven like you know sensibly you should be able to achieve about 550 to 600 miles which is really decent better than the old one I think I'm going to turn right here wait for cyclists Tractor, gotta love the tractor. Wait for him to pass. This could be a good opportunity to put a speed test. So, we're cruising at 12 miles an hour. I put it in sport mode, flat foot to the floor. I don't think I have my foot quite too flat to the floor. I don't think I reached the kick down enough. So I have to try that again in a minute. Put it back in comfort. But yeah, the economy is really good. Should I did a think I did a drive yesterday in the motorway and I was averaging just under 50 miles per gallon. Um, which is really decent. I don't think any other car can quite match that sort of figure with a two litre diesel engine. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Gearbox is good as well. Z8, ZF8 speed gearbox is really responsive and changes really smoothly when you want it to be. But if you put it in sport mode, um, sharpens up the throttle response, makes the gear changes a lot quicker, and it makes it a little more firm. So we come to a stop. We're gonna be here for a while, I think, with the four way traffic control. You notice like when you're an idle, when you're just like staying in position, you can't hear the engine as much. I don't know if it's because it's more refined or it's because it's how quiet it is in the cabin. So that's something to take note of. Like it's just, it's, it's miles better than the old car. It's like everything is just better. More space, more comfort, economical, lovely dash design loads of amazing tech it's just so much like so much better i'd love one of these in like um an m340i variant or even m3 variant but that's not released yet but the m340i is that bomb of an engine the b58 this could be the perfect car but this is more than good enough for, for most people Picked a bad time to come here, didn't I? There we go. Visibility is good as well. Loads of big windows. Pillars aren't too big either. So let's put in sport mode. Put our foot down to the floor. There you go, reach 60. It's, it's, it's well, it's just a two litre diesel, it's very nippy, it's very... Oh, more traffic lights. It's, yeah, it's got more than enough poke than you need on a daily basis. Brakes are a bit, a bit powerful. Obviously, it's got the M Sport brakes. 
Um, let me put our foot down again. Look at that handling, look at it. Beautiful. Yeah, the brakes around town are a bit, a bit powerful for my liking. They just stop a bit too much. So it's kind of hard to get the balance to soft, like brake come to a halt very softly because of the, um, how powerful the brakes are, I guess. Caught up to the van already. But yeah, the gearbox is absolutely fantastic. It changes just when you need it to. Talk about the handling in a minute when we come up to these tight twisty, tight twisty roads, but we're not quite there yet. So, so obviously this car is a bit bigger than the old car, but it's actually almost it's also lighter. It's about 55 kilos lighter um, due to I think using different materials. I would follow in the van now, which is a bit of a shame. So. Should effectively be good in the bends, which I wish I could try right now, but that van's right in front of me, so we'll back off for a bit. Yeah, this is quite a bumpy road, but you just feel like it's just so calm and collected over the bumps, especially if you put adaptive dampers on, which you do here. Like it says predictive adjustment of vehicle setting for the driving situation. So, yeah, it's dealing with the bumps smoothly. Nice weight to the steering as well. Um, when you put it in sport mode, obviously it, the steering wheel gets heavier, but because you can actually configure it and take it off, which I think is really decent. So that's um, quite handy, isn't it? So the steering is just enough. It's just light, it's just got that perfect weight to it. Cornering, completely flat, no body roll, just very planted. It's so quiet here, like I can literally hear myself breathing. It's, it's, it's quite scary, really. to the van already. No good, no good. Ooh, nice little Scooby there. Uh, I've, I haven't mentioned it before, but the, the driving position, the comfort, the seat is so comfy, and they hug you as well. Just everything about this car is just absolutely perfect, absolutely spot on. So far, these the van's going, I'm going. So, We've been stuck behind this van whilst I've got this nice bit of road coming up. I just have to improvise as much as I can, really. I have to back off for a bit and annoy that mini a bit. I'm a bit in sport mode. Dials are red. Throttle response is sharpened. Car's firmed up. Gear changes are ready to hold on. 
So yeah, if we, if we just put it around this corner really quickly. This handle so well, it's so balanced. It's just, I can't, I can't explain it. You need to drive it yourself to really understand what, what, how this car feels. It's just, so I think obviously the X-Drive helps as well. And I'm, I'm not mistaken, it, I think it comes with a mechanical rear slip, slip differential. A limited, yeah, rear, rear limited slip differential, um, I, some, something like that. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but I've, I'm pretty sure from what I've read, it's got one of, it's got um, one of those. Uh, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. I can't really show you the the handling side because it's van. But it just gives you so much confidence going to the corners because it just grips for days. Like I'm not even touching the brakes here. It's just going to grip. Absolutely no slip whatsoever. I think I ran out of time. I would like to obviously review more, but uh, my time's coming to a close. So overall, this car is the perfect all-rounder. Everything you'd ever need in a car. It's great to look at. It's got all the technology you ever need. It's really comfortable. It's more than fast enough. It's very economical. It's just everything, it's just a complete car. I couldn't sell this car to you any more than I already have, so. If there's anything else you wanna know about this car or I haven't mentioned in the video, please do feel free to um, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more future videos. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.